With this alarm, you'll never oversleep again. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. It's Amin here with Sira Masters, developing your mindset for success bi idnillah. Uh, this is another review video. I like review videos, you like review videos. Let me show you an app that I came across just last week and so far I'm extremely impressed with it and that's why I'm sharing it here. The Now let me just give you a background first. Um, I've had a, quite a history when it comes to alarms and getting up on time and not going back to sleep and this and that. And I've always known since, let's say, it's been, probably been seven years now or, or eight years that I've been thinking to myself, I need, like I've actually set it as an ambition and it's, it's been something solid in my head that I need to do it. And that is waking up for Fajr and staying awake and, and making that a norm in my life. And I, I always love the idea of it since I heard of it. I think I heard of it from a productive Muslim for the first time in terms of working right from Fajr as a productivity um, kind of uh, habit, right? Um, now, since I heard about it then, I've been trying different ways to do that, you know, normal alarms. Um, and I remember one time I was living in a uh, room in London and the what I, I didn't realize is that we were getting like poisoned by mold on the walls because this room was like underground, there wasn't much light. Uh, obviously it was the UK so it was quite wet, not much sunshine, etc and uh, not much fresh air must have been circulating, etc. Anyway, and it seems it's a very common problem in the UK. There was mold in the wallpaper or in the walls or something. And when you breathe that in, it actually stops your body's ability to turn food into energy. So what that meant is that some days I would literally sleep for 12 hours. I would wake up, go to a lecture at university, and I'd be falling asleep in the lecture after sleeping for 12 hours. Now, I, I have no, had no idea what was going on. I just thought, I actually didn't know, okay? And, and what that also meant is that it's extremely hard for me to get up because I, I would sleep so, for so long and I would wake up and I would still be very, very tired. So how did we try to combat this? We didn't know it was mold at that time, but what we tried to do, uh, we got our, this clock from Amazon and it was, uh, it was an alarm clock which had a very kind of high frequency, high pitch noise, which kind of pierced your ears, right? There was no way you would um, not wake up with that alarm sound, right? Now, the problem with it though, is that uh, you might wake up, uh, but you, if you were tired enough, you would be able to go back to sleep, okay? The good thing was this alarm, I think it's called atomic alarm or something like that, because it's that crazy. Um, there was an extension to it, okay? There was a wire coming from that alarm clock um, to a kind of black plastic object like this size, and you would put that under your pillow and it would vibrate, and it would vibrate quite powerfully, and it, I remember it would give me the craziest headache. Because imagine you're asleep, you're extremely tired, you know, your body's not creating en your energy properly, and then you've got this like blasting noise, high pitch noise, and then your, your pillow is vibrating. I used to get the craziest headaches, right? But I was just trying to do whatever it takes to sort this, this problem out. Um, so I, I, I went through that. Um, I started, uh, when, I, when I moved out of that place, I started sleeping um, with the curtains open. So, you know, the sunlight would, would wake me up and I do find that works pretty well. Um, but since then, you know, I've, I've still been doing that, but sometimes for whatever reason, uh, you want to wake up for Fajr, uh, and then you, you do want to sleep after that. And in that case, opening the curtains doesn't seem to work, you know, because the sun will already be up and you're trying to sleep at that time. So it's not always the best if you do want to sleep after Fajr. Um, I, I've been using the standard iPhone, um, alarms, using multiple alarms, etc. Um, but Last week, I came across what I think will be the last alarm I ever use. I was, I was considering getting a separate alarm clock um, so I could keep my phone in another room when I go to sleep and have that alarm clock. But uh, now I found this app and I think it will, re it will replace any need I have for a, a separate alarm, inshallah. So it is called Alarmy and it's alarm with a Y at the end. So Alarmy is kind of the logo kind of looks like an in, the Instagram thing. It's got orange and purple and reddish, you know, kind of gradient there. Um, how it works, what makes it different, is that 
you, when your alarm goes off, you have to uh, accomplish a mission in order to turn it off. There is no other way to turn this alarm off except to accomplish a mission. Now, what could that mission be? Uh, the two main ones that, I've, that I see as being quite useful is to scan a barcode. Okay, so imagine you're in bed, you're asleep, your alarm, your alarm wakes you up. Now you want to make sure you don't go back to sleep and you actually get up out of bed. So you might set uh, your alarm so that you, you can only turn it off by scanning the barcode of your toothpaste in your bathroom, which means you're up, you're in your bathroom, you've turned the alarm off. Well, now you're in your bathroom, might as well have a law, etc., and, and go and pray, right? Or wash your face, you know, and, and, and get, on with your, get on with your day, go, go in the shower, whatever, right? So uh, that, is the, that is one uh, way that you can, uh, that's one mission that you can accomplish to turn it off. Um, the other is to simply take a photo of a certain object, and I think it, you know, tries to uh, match what you've taken with, with a previous image that you saved. Um, but I find the barcode one works pretty well. Um, also, in order to have consistent lighting so it recognizes the barcode, I have to turn the light on uh, of my bathroom so uh, I get the same lighting and it works. So that also makes me wake up further, right? Um, another thing you could do is you could have the barcode somewhere downstairs or upstairs or <coughs> wherever so that you have to kind of walk pretty far to turn it off, okay? So that's really good. There are other missions like doing solving maths equations or shaking your alarm really hard, uh, shaking your phone really hard. <coughs> but the barcode one is one that I, I find really uh, does the trick and that, that's why I'm excited about this app. So uh, the app is called Alarmy. I believe this is the last alarm you're gonna need. It's extremely good. You, there's loads of different options, but the main thing is that you have to get up and go somewhere, use your phone, maybe turn the light on, find the object, take a picture of the barcode. By then it's like you're up. The only reason that you wouldn't, uh, that wouldn't sort all of your problems out is if you'll just have no reason to get up, right? And for that, I would just advise you to have a kind of to-do list or have some kind of plan for the next day already done by the time you go to sleep. I would also recommend you, you know, you do sleep with your curtains open so you wake up um, with the sunrise at the latest. Obviously, Fajr is before the sunrise. Um, and, uh, yeah, and obviously sleep, sleep early. Um, you know, personally, I find that if I don't sleep before kind of midnight, I'm going to struggle really to get up early and really get on with stuff uh, the next day. Um, another thing that I found out recently I tried was uh, wake up at Fajr and don't have breakfast at that time, you know. Pray, pray Fajr, get on with some stuff. So let's say here Fajr is like six o'clock or something. So six o'clock, wake up, pray, etc. And then do get on with some stuff, do some work until about nine-ish. So two to three hours of, of doing stuff. You're gonna be really focused. All I have is a hot cup of water. Um, I drink that, I get on with stuff, and then at 9.10, uh, I have breakfast, you know, and I feel like it's a bit of a reward after doing some work, and while you're up um, without anything in your stomach, you're kind of, I don't know, I feel like I have a bit more energy, and my stomach, my stomach isn't busy digesting anything. Um, not to mention that if you sleep at, let's say, 11, and you wake up at Fajr time, and then you extend that period of not eating by two to three hours, now you've all of a sudden you've spent a very long time without eating, which can help with your uh, kind of metabolism and uh, weight loss, you know, perhaps. So uh, that's an, an added bonus. So this has kind of been a review of the app called Alarmy and also some ideas for how to wake up early. Um, you know, sometimes I've not been happy with my productivity and the conclusion often, uh, you know, 80% of the time has been, it, I'm not waking up at Fajr and staying awake. That is the, the core problem. You know, I, I like to try and ask myself the question, uh, which, what one thing would make everything else um, insignificant or, or unneeded completely? And often the, the answer to that question is, wake up early and that will solve, you know, that's the 20% of effort that will solve 80% of the problems. Okay, so I definitely encourage you to wake up at Fajr and, and start your day then and don't go back to sleep, you know, very, if, if possible. Do whatever you can to get into that routine and one of those ways will be to use this app. So uh, thanks for listening. Hopefully it's one of the more practical, very practical 
applicable uh, videos. Uh, you can you know go and download the app right now. Uh, thanks for listening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.